here at the Brandenburg Gate and the Reichstag in Berlin is unbelievable pandemonium. It's New Year's Eve, the removal of the wall, and unity all in one. Over a million people here celebrating a day that they never thought would come, a day in which Germany became one country again. Bernie? Doug James reporting live from Berlin. For Catherine Pryor, I'm Bernard Shaw in Washington. That is our world today of the new United Germany. Tom? Well, Dan, if you can hear me over this din, it's happened, it's official. Germany is now one country of 80 million people. And considering that the Berlin Wall went down less than 11 months ago, it's happened with such speed that even the Germans themselves are stuck. At midnight, the West German flag, now the flag of all of Germany, was raised at the old parliament building the first act of a fully sovereign Germany of almost 80 million people, the most powerful country in Europe. More than a million Germans are out on the streets of Berlin tonight, celebrating the birth of a united Germany in what is once again its official capital. The giant street party stretches from the historic Brandenburg Gate into both halves of the city. It's a fantastic time. It's very good. We like it. <laughs> the official celebration began on a more stately note with a performance of Beethoven's Ninth in an East German concert hall. Out on the streets, the newly united Berlin police have had their hands full trying to head off trouble from small bands of anarchists and neo-Nazis. Law and order is purely a German responsibility now. This morning, the Western Allies officially gave up the rights they have held in Germany since World War II. In a ceremony symbolizing the end of American occupation, the stars and stripes were lowered on a sour note. In East Berlin, officials bailed out of government offices, carrying off files and personal possessions. 45 years of communist government ended not with a bang, but with a whimper. We worked 40 years, said this bureaucrat, for nothing. They will join the diplomats, judges, and millions of other East Germans who will soon be unemployed. A crowd gathered for the last changing of the guard at the anti-fascist memorial, the East German regime's most sacred shrine. It was the ceremonial end of the communist era and the beginning of the capitalist generation. Some were sorry to see the old ways go. One of the last soldiers cried. Bush! Then with the now forbidden goose step, they defiantly marched off into history. Once the guards were gone, emotions bottled up for 45 years boiled over. Arguments about the Nazis, the Jews, all the old wounds of Germany. But for most Germans, this is a night to celebrate, not a time to remember the past. Tomorrow, they can worry about the future and the hundreds of billions the new Germany will cost. Tom Fenton, CBS News, Berlin. For at least a second or so, let's go back to Berlin for live pictures of the celebration. There's so much history that comes to mind when you see what's happening with this official celebration for reunited Germany. Context and perspective in the background, two world wars this century fought over Germany and German deeds, a long punishment period in the wake of World War II for the Germans, and now reunification with all that may mean and may not mean. Still ahead on the CBS Evening News, correspondent Deborah Potter on charges that some room disinfectants that you're using may be useless. CNN Headline News, I'm Lynn Russell. One plus one equal one. 
East and West Germany ushered in a new united Germany less than half an hour ago. of thousands of people, now simply Germans, are celebrating in Berlin on this national holiday. The party is scheduled to last right through Wednesday. All this less than a year after the Berlin Wall came tumbling down. New Chancellor Helmut Kohl and other leaders joined in singing the national anthem. As former East German Prime Minister Lothar de Maizière put it, what for most had been only a dream has become reality. The four World War II Allied powers have handed over control of Berlin to the new Germany. American soldiers lowered the U.S. flag yesterday. The United Nations had its changing of the flag yesterday. A West German-born United Nations security officer lowered the East German flag at the New York headquarters for the last time. And its West German counterpart came down as well. Early today, the flag of United Germany went up. After 45 years of division, Germany is again one nation. East and West officially emerged just an hour ago, and millions are celebrating the historic event. CNN Headline News, I'm Lynn Russell. It's a day many Germans thought they'd never see, the unification of East and West. At the stroke of midnight German time, the two countries formally became one. The new flag of Germany was raised above Berlin, reinstated as the country's capital. German airline Lufthansa flew to Berlin for the first time since World War II, shuttling in lawmakers for the ceremonies. Former East German Prime Minister and now German Vice Chairman Lothar de Maizière says the East has no regrets about joining the West, calling today a time of great joy, a farewell without tears. All across Germany, millions of people celebrated the momentous event with parties and fireworks. And they're still celebrating. This is a live shot of Berlin, where tens of thousands of people gathered around the Brandenburg Gate. At the United Nations, the East German flag was lowered for the last time today. A West German-born UN security officer did the honors. Back in Berlin, the American flag was lowered as the four World War II victors, the United States, Britain, France, and the Soviet Union, relinquished their claim to the city. The excitement of unification. are promising to serve peace in the world. Today, German officials are officially declaring their country's new status in a speech to the United Nations General Assembly. And in Washington, President Bush is commemorating the event with a ceremony in the Rose Garden on this German-American day. In Berlin, German leaders, including Chancellor Helmut Kohl and former East German Prime Minister Lothar de Maizière, attended a church service commemorating reunification. There were also some less solemn celebrations. Last night, thousands of Germans took to the streets of Berlin for a huge party.
I think um, this moment um, is not only good for Germany. Uh, I hope that all uh, East European countries will live now better without communism and Stalinism. <laughs> Party looked a little less.